Hello, and welcome to the second ever podcast, Pond 5's monthly web show for media makers by media makers. We're your hosts, Ryan McAfee. And I am Michelle Castle. And we're here in our LA studio to highlight Pond 5's talented artists, showcase the latest and greatest content from our library, and teach you everything you need to know about being a successful media maker. On this podcast, we'll have a chat about the Pond 5 photo collection. We'll learn about shooting extreme sports, and we'll have a wonderful friend-filled day in the park. So grab your knowledge skillet and drizzle on some dreaming oil. It's time to cook up today's podcast. It's trade show season, everyone, and that means it's the best time to come meet some of our Pond5 staff members in person. First, our team members are working the booth in London for BBE this week, and hopefully you got a chance to stop by and see them. Here's a sneak peek from London. I'm Martin Elbeck, and I'm very excited because we're at BBE London XL. Inside there, you've got the cream of world media, and I fancy a sip. There's over 152,000 people and 350 brands. Let's talk to all of them and tell them about Pond5 and creating great stock footage. Check back with us soon on this channel for more coverage of the British Video Expo. Second, if you're in America, come by our booths in Austin for this year's South by Southwest and keep it weird with our American team of Pond Fivers. Go ahead and grab a free beer at our booth as well. Also, check out the South by Southwest Film Festival, sponsored by <coughs> yours truly. Third, join us in Vegas April 7th through the 10th and meet our West Coast team at the NAB show. You can come by the booth and have a beer on us, help you get over all that money you're losing at the casinos. And another bonus, our friends can get a free exhibit pass by typing in the code LV8837 on the NAB website. So go ahead and come out and see us for free. Now, on to the keyword commentary. The keyword commentary is where we type a word into the Pond5 search and see what we get. And since we're in a major drought here in California, why not see what comes up when we type in the word thirsty? What's the first thing that you think of when you hear the word thirsty? Well, that's what we want to find out by searching the Pond5 collection for whatever we can find. Most likely the first things you can think of are water, someone drinking something, a sprawling dry desert, nice cold brewski, but for a select few, maybe your mind starts to wander a little. Maybe you start to picture big shirtless men in a well-lit room pouring water on their faces, or a woman surprised by a comically large coffee mug. <laughs> or maybe it's not either of those last two and instead you're thinking about going straight to the source. Or maybe you don't think any of this hydration is necessary at all and you just want to be covered in milk. And there he goes. For us, when we think of thirsty, we think about two young, good-looking athletic people standing on the edge of a cliff, drinking water in slow motion. Oh, kind of like these folks. Is anyone else seeing that he's completely missing and squirting water all over his face? Aim for the mouth, sir. Kind of erotic, you know. It's in slow motion. Wait, 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 look at the girl. She's just standing there staring at him with a big smile on her face. She's just like completely thrilled. Yeah, but you know what she's really thinking? Geez, I guess I didn't want any. Thanks for offering me some, Randy. You know, after seeing that last clip, got me thinking just how great it was. It was well shot, well lit. It would actually be pretty darn good for a commercial for like a sports drink or something. Well then, if you're thirsty, why don't we take a quick break for our sponsors? We'll be right back. Do you feel like you're missing someone to catch your throws? Do you need a person to give you that extra push? Are you wanting more in both a peace stick partner and a life partner? Then look no further than Pond Partners, the world's foremost dating service for those with active lifestyles. Find that special someone to run down your throws and catch your passes. 
Use our vast database to find that person you can rely on to be there to push you higher and higher. Finally, you can get acquainted with someone to help you learn to live harmoniously and play peace sticks with you. There may be plenty of fish in the sea, but the sea is huge. Try the pond instead. Whether it's running, hiking, biking, or team sports, Pond Partners is here to help you set the best bait and lure in the ideal man or woman with that active lifestyle you love. Don't play by yourself ever again. Call now to receive a free water bottle. Your partner will love watching you drink haphazardly. Cast out your line, reel in your catch, and ensure a wonderful future together for years to come. Thanks, Pond Partners! Pond Partners, call now. Welcome back. If you like any of the clips from the Pond Partners commercial, please click on the link in the description below. Skateboarding, biking, surfing, and kayaking are all fun activities, but they're tough to shoot correctly. Until now, our Canadian artist Skyward Kick has some wonderful tips for you about shooting extreme sports. Extreme sports communities have always embraced the medium of video. Even before the age of YouTube, the skateboard, BMX, and surf industries all used videos to promote their brands. There's lots of extreme sports footage out there, but shooting for stock can be tricky and I'm going to try to take you through a few things to help you successfully build your portfolios. One of the biggest challenges you'll face shooting extreme sports is logos. Companies love to slap their brand all over equipment, venues, everything. Unless you want to spend hours masking these logos in post, you might want to consider options before shooting. I always ask my models to wear clothing with no obvious logos on them and keep a roll of masking tape in my bag to cover up anything that might be visible. Unfortunately, sometimes you just won't have any other option, especially with like water sports. But to go the masking and post route, or leaving it in and leaving that burden to potential clients, usually inhibits sales. To see the full video on Skyward Kick, or to see any of our other Media Maker Spotlights, subscribe to us, or click the link below and be transported to a wonderful world of videos filled with people you don't know. Let's turn the spotlight from one of our artists to Biba Sepet, our point person for everything photography, in today's Curator Forecast. Welcome to the podcast, Biba, and welcome to California. How are you doing? Hey, Michelle. It's all doing great. I just escaped New York City's brutal winter, and I'm enjoying uh, endless summer. Awesome. Well, welcome again. And what's interesting is a lot of people don't even know we have photos on Pond5. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? We actually had photos for a past year and a half, and um, we've managed to grow our collection to 10 million photos, a lot to choose from. And what are some ways artists can uh, speed up approval times? Yeah, besides the obvious, don't slack on the title. Make sure the title is accurately describing an image. Other metadata is also important, but uh, title is for our Pond5 algorithm the most important one, so you want to be sure you get it right. What about any trends? Are there any trends in the media lately? Authenticity. Absolutely that. And also a huge trend is authenticity with women. You want to see a woman doing something less traditional because the role has changed in the past half a century. So for example, woman entrepreneur, woman um, welding, a woman with tattoos, um, handling a toddler, but making sure the, the body language of the model is authentic. Women empowerment, I love it. And lastly, uh, we are now accepting PSDs and vectors, which is some exciting news. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that's fairly new. Uh, besides vectors, we've expanded on accepting PSDs. You can also think about it in a pre-layered image. For example, a close-up of a hand with red nail polish, and a buyer might want to have a green nail polish or purple. It's just going to expand a whole other possibilities for a buyer. Thanks, Biba, and we'll see you out on those waves today. Oh yeah, you bet I'm going to kick your asses, I think. <laughs> you know, you all give us so much, it's time for us to give a little back to you in a Pond5 contest or Pond Test. Congratulations to last month's winner, Fusion Footage, for winning our Out of Pond Text. They, of course, guessed the clip correctly, which was this. <laughs> A t-shirt and $50 in site credit are on their way. On to the pond test for this month, instant gramification. We want you to go out and shoot a photo or video with a theme of anger. Wow! 
Whatever the word anger means to you, we want you to go out and capture it. Post it to your Instagram and tag it with the hashtag Pond5Anger. The photo with the most likes by our next podcast will win $50 in site credit and a Pond5 t-shirt. Happy shooting. Don't you mean angry shooting? We'll see you next time, you wonderful media makers, you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, shoot us an email at podcast at pond5.com. You can also like, follow, and share with us on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter, as well as subscribe to the podcast by clicking on the link in our description. Join us again next month for the third ever podcast, and every month after that for some more hot podcast action. And remember, everything used on today's show is available for sale on Pond5.com. Even this. Or this. Or this. You can find a link to everything in the description below. Our heartfelt goodbyes are with you now as we play you out with a pontage of some of our favorite thirsty clips from our collection. Pon voyage!